Greetings Lovies. It is I, Khaleesi Dove, and today I wanted to talk about why I'm not on Facebook and what I've learned during my time away. It has been over a year since I've been on Facebook. I remember this distinctly because this month, March, is my birthday month. So last year, before my birthday, I decided I've had enough of Facebook. And it was actually a friend of mine who had come to visit me from Montana on her way back. I just, I had just mentioned Facebook and she said, oh, I'm not on Facebook. She's the first one who actually opened my eyes to the possibility of not that I don't appreciate it, but holy brightness. That being said, I have three reasons why I left Facebook. The first reason was that I, I noticed that it was getting more and more lonely. And maybe this is just me, but I noticed people losing, how do I say, losing contact with it one another. Despite the fact that I had over a thousand friends, Maybe, okay, maybe only a handful of us would meet up sometimes. It just seemed to be, the more I tried to reach out to people, maybe make new friends, the more I felt lonely, the more I felt isolated, the more I felt alone. And again, maybe this is just me, maybe, maybe it's me, I don't know. Maybe that was the way I approached it, I, I don't know. But. It just, it was just increasingly difficult. And the way I saw it, the way I felt about it, was that people were taking each other for granted. It was so easy to say, oh, well, we'll hang out another time. Yeah, oh, sorry, can't, can't go, can't make it to X, Y, Z plans. But keep me, keep in touch, you know, like hit me up on Facebook. And it just seemed like Facebook was an excuse. A barrier if you will and not only Facebook you know just other other forms of I guess technology but that's that's another video <laughs> number two reason I guess this kind of actually ties into number one I wanted to formulate those organic relationships I wanted this is how I say it. I wanted to cultivate organic relationships and my other friend she says just just say old school, going old school, that's what it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I wanted to go old school and actually hang out with my friends and actually spend time, go to their house, go for a cruise, go for a walk, I just, whatever, you know, I just wanted, I wanted to be there. I wanted us to hang out. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Number three reason, due to a certain series of events in my life, I actually had cause to, I guess, want to pull away and I say this now and I kind of realize it's almost hypocritical or contradictory. Like I wanted close friends, I guess that's the thing, I wanted closer friends that I could trust. Due to certain events in my life, I had cause to want to pull away and take a step back from the public eye and that's how I view Facebook. Honestly, I wanted to learn how to be a good friend. <laughs> or at least try to learn, gosh. One of the major things I've learned being away from Facebook for this entire year is that it is truly an act of rebellion to unplug from the matrix. Ha, jokes. No, it is truly an act of rebellion these days to take a step back or not be a part of social media. That is like going rogue. Like nobody does that. Anyone who's anyone, everyone's on Facebook. Your mom's on Facebook. Your dad, your grandpa, your grandma, your uncle, your aunties. 
your your dog, your cat, your cow, pig, goat, moose. Everyone has Facebook and it's crazy. <laughs> Not being a part of Facebook is, yeah, I, I would have to say that is extremely rebellious. The other thing I've learned, which also kind of ties into the world we live in today, is that being off of Facebook, it was not just about learning life. It was, I think more, more than anything, it was about learning myself and becoming, how do I say, self-aware, if that, if that makes sense. I've also learned that life goes on, whether you're a part of it or not. It was, it was definitely a humbling experience. The first couple of weeks maybe, maybe even the first week, I don't know. I, I was expecting people to, you know, like have a, have a global meltdown or something. <laughs> like I was, I was seriously so arrogant that, oh my God, I was so full of it. Oh, so full of myself. But that didn't happen. And you know, it's kind of upsetting at first, but at the same time it causes you to take a look at take a look at your life and it's like, well, I guess I'm not as important in the world as I thought I was. The world continued, like it was it was fine. I wish I could make this into like some kind of like uber motivational speech or something, but I mean, I can only speak from my own experience and for me being off of Facebook, it, it helped me to learn a lot. I could go on and on and on about all the things I've learned about being off of Facebook. And I can go on and on and on about why Facebook's good, why Facebook's bad. Well, I mean, it is what it is. So yeah, let me know if there's anything that you've ever done that was rebellious like this. Taking a step back from something that was a, so, a social norm. So, social, 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 social media. That's how I talk these days. Forgive me. I apologize. Yeah, let me know. Tell me any stories that you may have. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. You know, is it? Am I just completely bonkers here or, or what? I don't know. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a like and to comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends because I'm kind of a dork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, take care. Peace. Really quickly, I actually forgot to mention that by the time this video posts, I will have returned to Facebook. And what? Hello, son. The son does not know what it wants to do. Excuse me, son. You're kind of bright today. That being said, I have three reasons. Whoa, that is bright. Thank you.